Philly is kind of a small city. It's easy to skate from one end to the other. So today we're gonna skate from Cecil, then we're gonna go down to Exit, then we're gonna go over to 9th and Poplar to check out the DIY spot that Rob Williams built, and then we're gonna skate downtown to Love Park and some other spots around there. So now we're gonna go over to Cecil, flat ground spot, and broaden Cecil B more. Um, I met most of my friends here in Philly there, so let's go check it out. where I spent a shitload of time when I was living in Philly. Um, there's not a lot here anymore, just marble flat ground. There used to be greats, you could pop up, skate them as ramps, and they knobbed a bunch of the ledges, but still just like a good spot to hang out and skate flat, meet up with the bros. I grew up in Maryland right outside of Washington, D.C. When I was a kid, I would always see Philly in skate videos and it just always looked amazing. So when it came time to pick a college to go to, it just seemed like the perfect place to go. All right, we're at Exit. We're at Exit Skate Shop. What's up, Steve? What's up, brother? This is my good friend, Steve Miller. He's the owner of Exit Skate Shop here in Philadelphia on North 2nd Street. The, our shop is more or less like the meetup. Everyone has little projects, videos, and everything that we just do from this shop just to give everyone like a home to really call their own. Right now, it's not only illegal to skateboard in Philadelphia, but they're moving the $300 fine for skateboarding on public property to $2,000 fine and 90 days in prison, which basically you can become, you can develop a criminal record, not get a job, lose your job for skating in the city of Philadelphia. So currently, we're fighting with the city we won um, with city council the other day. We knocked down one of the bills, but it's just an endless fight really to keep skateboarding alive in the city and keep kids out of trouble and like out of prison for doing what they actually love, which is skateboarding through and through. Uh, we're on 2nd and Poplar. We're just leaving exit and we're gonna head over to uh, 9th and Poplar where there's a DIY spot some of my friends built some stuff at. Yeah, you're at 9th and Poplar right now. It's a little DIY park in Philadelphia, uh, the north side of the city. Um, pretty much like any DIY spot. A couple of ledges, a little spine ramp, flat bar, barrier, vert wall. It's kind of in the hood, but it's a dope hood. It's kind of mellow. It's not really sketchy. As long as you just keep it clean and you're cool with everybody, you can pretty much skate as long as you want. downtown, go all the way down Broad Street, check out all the spots, check out Love, maybe Municipal, everything down there. now but it's like a really historic spot in Philly like Eastern Exposure, the old Sub-Zero videos. It's an amazing spot but as you can see you can't skate it anymore. So here's this spot it's like right on the entrance of the highway and uh, in the New Deal video seven year glitch uh, Ricky Ola does a line like Wally's up that barrier tray flip and then Nolly flips into this bank at the end of it. Super sick. Right across the street from 
loved, historic, famous spot here in Philly. Um, usually get kicked out pretty fucking quick, but we can come up and skate and see if we get a second. Love Park, doesn't really need an introduction. It's one of the most famous skate spots in the world. It's an amazing place. They fucked it up a little with the grass and planters, but people still skate here. So, we're here. Fred Gall did gap to 50-50, maybe like 94 or 95, super long ago. Harry gets lip slid, pretty gnarly. Outledge where Wenning did all his shit, switch back Smith, switch back tail, big spin. Love Park is obviously has crazy history. Um, it's just like one of the most amazing spots in the world. Um, some of the greatest skaters from the East Coast have come out of here, like Brian Wenning, Ricky Oyola, Josh Kalish, Fred Gall, Matt Reason, Stevie Williams, all those dudes just like legendary. Nowadays, there's a ton of new kids here. Um, there's Chris Mulhern filming here all the time. He's definitely keeping the scene alive, making all his videos. And without him, the scene here would be a lot different. We skated from Center City to North Philly all the way back downtown, and uh, it didn't take that long. It's pretty flat, so it's easy to go from spot to spot. It's also really cheap to live here, so it's the perfect city for skaters. The roads are really smooth, it's just like an awesome city all around. Thanks everybody for watching and hopefully you can make it down to Philly sometime to enjoy the skate scene.